Welcome back. Today I have a Sheen haul, or is it Shine? This was gifted. They asked me if I'd like to receive some things and um, coming up to the holiday, I thought, well, actually, yes, especially sweatshirts and things like that. I thought, um, I'll have a look, see if there's anything that takes my eye. And they did send me these things. So up front, it is a gifted haul, but I'm gonna show you the items tried on and I'm gonna give you my honest opinions about each of the things that I ordered. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup because when I try stuff on, especially like bulky things, I'm very aware of foundation and like trying not to mess with stuff. So I just thought I would forgo it altogether. I started with the riskiest of items. I, saw, I kept seeing dresses like this and then I saw this texture and I thought maybe this would work better. I felt like this texture would probably um, look the most expensive or at very least not necessarily give it away as being a very inexpensive dress. This kind of fabric, which I always, always think hangs nicely as well, it's like a slinky kind of situation, but it's very clingy. I've tried on a few dresses like this in recent years and kind of come around to the kind of figure hugging dress if it's the cowl neck and it's got some detail that it isn't too kind of like tight to your body. This one is super tight to your body. You can move it around a little bit to adjust where the gathering parts are to kind of hide parts if you want to or to try and make it as flattering as possible on your particular figure. What I did have a problem with is how see-through this was. I'm only showing you clips that I felt were not too see-through because when I first put it on it was like you can see everything. But it all depends on how you're moving and how the lighting is. So you can't see too badly here but then if you stretch you can see my hand completely. So you might look in the mirror and be like this is fine, this is totally fine and then you move and all of a sudden everyone can see bomb. I do think this kind of dress can actually be quite nice. On all different shapes and sizes, I think it kind of like hugs in the right areas and again, you can gather it in such a way that you can make it work for you. I really think that the cowl neck and this kind of material works really nicely on the bust. Um, and even the backless situation I can kind of deal with, but I do have um, an area that I don't love um, where I had my C-section and it's pulled super, super tight. And so it's a really obvious kind of like ridge underneath my tummy. And this really, really was like, here it is. I do have a pair of Spanx. It wouldn't work with this because of the low back. When I'm wearing it, I'm not thinking about it, but I'm just kind of thinking and talking about this kind of super critically from a review perspective. That is something that immediately I was like, okay, that's very obvious. And if that is something that is gonna put you off, then you need to know about it. But do you know, I still might wear this under the right circumstances if I find like a nice slip that I feel um, conceals stuff underneath because it's definitely too see-through to wear by itself. Also, the color was amazing. Now, speaking of the color, not quite the same, but then I got this ribbed knit dress, um, which wasn't quite as clingy, but it still did the same thing. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it still did exactly the same thing. It shows me the kind of smile underneath my tummy um, and there's not really any getting away from it in a dress like this because as you move, it just constantly tries to kind of fill into that bridge. So I like the dress. I like the way it hugs my body. Otherwise, I really like the color. I like the neckline and the material is really, really nice. Same with the slinky one. I love the material on this. Um, and obviously this one's not see-through at all, but that, was slightly disappointing because otherwise I loved it. Something I ordered to go with the knitted dress was this cardigan, which the colour is absolutely incredible and the colours together, this and that kind of like dark mustard, um, or would we call it camel? I suppose we would. I think the colours go so nicely together and it just looks really cosy and I felt like I was wearing pyjamas and I think it's kind of like a casual sexy look, kind of like, um, like French sexy, I think of, like not overtly, but just, you know, I like it. Um, so I put this on and I thought, right, I'm digging out the spank. So I put on the spank specifically to see whether or not it would make the dress better. It absolutely did. It did. And it makes a big difference if you have an issue like that where you feel like you just want to smooth it out. Shapewear is great for stuff like that. But a dress like this, especially with this cardigan, feels like a cosy, comfortable, easy outfit. And I'm just not going to pull out spanks for that. It did improve the look, it did smooth things out, but I probably would just wear it without and just deal with it because I I won't feel the same comfort 
when I'm having to wear shapewear and they roll down because I've got quite a short body. They keep rolling down. It's just not great. It's not my fave. It's not my fave. So there are solutions to these things, but the real solution is just to kind of like make peace with our bodies, isn't it? Also, my eyes look so red today. I put something that was designed to grow eyebrows on my eyelashes. And then I'm like, why are my eyes so sore? Why are my eyes so red? That might be why. Shan't do that again. Right, we're about to get to my highlight item. And this was like, I saw it and I thought, I'll try it. I'll try it. We'll see. I love the reviews on Sheen. I, I like that you can see other people wearing them. They are encouraged to leave reviews. And um, I like that you can kind of guess sizes and things from what people say. I, I really enjoy the review element of the website. Um, and so that's what pushed me in this direction because the reviews of this were really, really nice. But even from those reviews, I couldn't possibly have guessed what the fabric was going to be like because I thought it was just going to be knitted. But it's that kind of like eyelash... It's really heavy. It's got kind of like, it's super stretchy and it's got kind of like a, a chenille weight to it, I would say, but a bounce, a stretchy kind of chenille. And it's that eyelashy, soft, soft fabric, beautiful, gorgeous, like, mm, so, so cozy. Um, and I keep seeing people wear these um, little cardigans as cardigans again, because for a long time, they've been like little tops to wear with jeans. And I kept seeing people wear them as cardigans. So I'm wearing it with the dress here. And I think it looks so cute. I think I would wear this as a cardigan, like over a vest top and jeans probably, but I never really think of it because I've seen so many people for so long wearing them just as tops by themselves or as jumpers. Um, you kind of forget that they are, of course, cardigans. So I thought that was cute. And then as a top with my jeans, I really liked it too. This might be the highlight of the order because I think it looks so much more expensive than it was. Um, the quality feels really, really nice. And I just, again, it's so heavy. It's really just completely, completely surprised me. And um, especially if you're looking for warmer knitwear to layer this winter time, I think you'd really, really like this one. Everything else so far has been quite thin by comparison. This doesn't feel like a lot, it's not really bulky, but I think it would be um, pretty effective at keeping you warm. So next I saw this set of jumpers and these are really great. They do loads of different colors, loads of different variations um, of like hoodies, zip up things, jumpers. I decided on the one that was the black hoodie, um, there's like a beige jumper, and then possibly my favorite, well, I don't know, is this color, actual hoodie. Sorry, the, hood, the first black hoodie was a zip. The zip up hoodie, first of all, I put it on and I thought, okay, this is thin, but I want it for working out. We now have a garage in the gym, and I thought this actually will be perfect because I've been looking for something to put on over my gym gear that's not kind of bulky and that I can easily take off for when I first get out there and it's still quite cold because we don't have any heat in there. It's really difficult to heat a garage that's still got a garage door, almost impossible. Um, but once you start moving, you know, you warm pretty quickly. So I just wanted something to initially take the, the edge off the cold when we get out there to work out. And that is absolutely perfect for how thin it is, but it is thin. Next, I tried on the creamy jumper and this is one of the ones that I thought of the entire order, oh, I'm gonna like this. It's not great, it feels really, really cheap. When I put it on, I immediately thought, Obviously, it's the same kind of thinness as this, but it's also got kind of like a plasticky element. I would say it's got like, it's almost like neoprene. It's like foamy in quality. It's so hard to show you. Can you, in fact, I think you can maybe see it there. It is kind of neoprene-y. It's got a sheen. It's really, really strange. And I'm trying to show you on camera now that there is a sheen to this jumper. It's odd. Um, I don't love it. I think on the black, it doesn't, it's not too terrible, but on that creamy colour, I think it makes it look cheap. Um, the brown hoodie, I think it's kind of, I mean, I'm picking it up like, it just weighs nothing. I know jumpers don't weigh a lot, but they really are super, super lightweight. They're not very thick. Um, it looks nice, the brown one. I love the colour of it. But again, in this fabric, I'm not sure. I think the black zip-up hoodie, it works, it's fine. And because of what I want it for, the fact that it's thin is no big deal. I'm not planning on wearing it for long periods of time. But the other ones are kind of disappointing because I just can't see me wearing them um, like as actual hoodies. I think that I'm gonna wanna take it off relatively soon. So we're moving on to the final thing. And this is the jogging suit or whatever you wanna call it, um, the loungewear suit that I'm wearing right now. And the reason I'm wearing it right now is I wanted to wear it for kind of a little bit longer just to see how I was feeling in it and see whether or not my thoughts upon just first putting it on were gonna be correct. It is warm. Same as the other three. It just, I mean, I just, I 
my hair is sweating. It is really cold outside today. It's been very cold in the UK this week and I don't have my heating on and I am sweating. I'm sweating so much in the joggers that I feel like I need to take these off and have a shower. They're comfortable to wear. I'm sure for some people it won't be a big deal at all, but that soft interior lining that's kind of like a fleecy lining feels, although it's soft on the skin, it's not uncomfortable, it feels as though it's lined with plastic for how warm immediately you feel and how you're like, oh, I can just tell, you know? Also, when I put them on, I felt like it smelt like a um, Halloween costume. I don't know what that's all about, like a musty, totally smells like a Halloween costume, which to me, again, is like a plastic, like it smells like the inside of a Halloween mask is what it smells like. Is that very specific? It is, but it's exactly what it smells like. I like the look of the hoodie. I love the white strings. I think the whole thing, I really, really like it. And I'm hoping that once they've been washed, maybe they'll soften up and it'll be a little bit easier to wear. Um, especially the hoodie. The bottoms, the joggers, I don't think I can wear these. They're so weirdly bulky and the style of them is so weird. Oh my God, the sweat in my pockets. I don't even understand, truly. Um, so the things that I thought were gonna be an absolute given, like the easy, in my in my opinion, the stuff that I thought was gonna be like, oh, well, these will definitely be good. The sweatshirts, um, the joggers, that kind of thing. They were actually the most disappointing things. The actual items of clothing that I thought were, mm, this might not be so fantastic. They were way, way better, which really shocked me because I truly thought the sweatshirts and stuff, well, they'll be fine. And apparently there is a wrong way to make a sweatshirt. 100% this is the winner of everything. I also really like the other burgundy cardigan. Um, and, and the dresses are nice. The dresses are really, really nice. I need to put my hair up. This is insane. Um, and I'm also really, really glad that I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup because it would have just melted off my face. I will leave links to everything that um, I was sent. That I did request each of these items, but I was sent below um, if you're interested in any of them. I really, really, really think you should go and check out that card again. Um, but hopefully this was useful for those of you who are shopping online, thinking of um, maybe shopping with Sheen, Shine, however you say this. Um, I find the reviews really, really useful. And when I was making my purchases, I was watching videos as well. So uh, please feel free to leave your own reviews and comments below. I will see you guys in my next video.